land at the mighty headwaters of the Bishop River and we're about to hop out and start the mission. Very much feeling like a visitor here. And we're just deep in the coast range, in the wilderness. We've got about 70 kilometers of river between where we are here at the headwaters of the Bishop and the head of Butte Inlet, which is where the Bishop goes down into the ocean. And we've got a lot of unknown. into the first of these series of big gorges and the water level seems really good, a beautiful sunny day, and uh, now I've just been able to climb out of the gorge. Nice camp, and now we've got a lot downstream. We're just, just at the very beginning, um, but so far, really amazing, spectacular. Read and run class four. Uh, a few intimidating like horizons and corners, but as we've approached all of them and started to look at it, everything's been really good to go. today, all things considered. Uh, lots of good white water. Definitely pretty stoked on, on our progress. And now I think we're gonna get into this, like, these big, huge gorges. Down the 
anything yet, so we keep chugging along and see what we got. Woo. So yeah, here we are on the second gorge. It's real steep real quick. We're portaging it now and it's going all right. There uh, were two patches of really thick devil's club that were really hard to get through. Those were definitely cruxes and I think we've approached the third crux here which is this tight little passage along this pretty steep ravine. Uh, probably the only place to pass this whole ravine on probably the whole entire cliffside here. So we're pretty lucky it's here. The progress is slow, painful, but it's good suffering. So we're getting along. here dude. Uh, we're going through the big portage here in the second canyon and getting pretty tired and exhausted. I set my boat down up against a tree. Talking to Parker and I could hear it slipping behind me. And it fell a few hundred feet down here into the canyon. It's probably in a sieve down there somewhere. With all my sleeping gear, my sleeping bag, food, rain jacket. There's definitely some important stuff in that kayak that is in a sieve in the river right now. I don't have any dry layers, I don't have my food, my sleeping bag, or my thermarest. We'll see how we get through this first night and probably try to make it downstream as quick as possible. But we still have basically the crux of the river below us. So, yeah, we've got some things on our plate for sure. It's gonna be hard, but we just gotta get started down here, get back to the river, and work out what our options are from there. So I'm trying not to think about that too much. And um, just hoping that we can get through this porridge smooth tomorrow and make it out of this river safely and in one piece. Sorry, it's our eighth day and it's pretty 
much our maximum planned amount of time out here. And uh, you know, a day and a half with two people's food supply for the three of us has gotten us pretty thin. Mmm. Play notes. Right, so the sunshine is hitting. We're sitting around the campfire, so we're all just getting warm and ready for what's probably going to be a pretty darn big day out there. Uh, last night, though, I got really cold and I didn't sleep much um, with like the layers that I was borrowing from Chris and Parker. So I'm a little bit worn, a little bit exhausted just from last night. And I know that today's going to be a big day with a lot of unknowns. Crossing the river, hiking downstream as far as I can, trying to make my way in between these cliff bands, and then walking back down to the river, swimming to the other side, and starting my walk out to, to Butte Inlet, basically. So. down at the river one last time and I'm going to paddle across the river right and start portaging down the right bank and then these guys are going to pull the boat back and start portaging down on river left and going their own ways trying to paddle a little bit of the river so you good? Made it the end of the third gorge. We got a good rappel station set up here, and we're gonna rappel into the river about 60 to 80 feet, and then drop down into the river. And we're hoping it's all good around the corner, but we're still not exactly sure. So see how it goes. So stoked to be back on the river! Woo! Hopefully it's the last time we have to get out of our boats. Canyon 3 for probably a couple miles now and it looks like the river just drops off the face of the earth again starts rallying down into, into Canyon number 4 so I think the boys should be able to paddle through it hopefully but for me I am going to swim across the river now from river right to river left where the road continues on and uh, yeah, a little bit of a scary swim. I've got two watershed dry bags and a paddle with me. Uh, it's getting cold, it's raining. The river's not going to be warm either. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give it and hopefully tap into this road that should be over there on the left. Last night I took a stumble and kind of fucked up my right ankle and this morning I wasn't feeling much better so uh, after hobbling around a little bit decided to call in search and rescue and have a helicopter come and pick me up. Uh, got the tarp laid out and they should be here pretty soon so we'll see. Hopefully the boys are going to be okay to do the rest of the river. I think they will be. Sounds like they were pretty successful yesterday, so I think it should be all good. All right. Here we are. 
day nine of a planned seven day trip. Um, we're completely out of food. I don't have a sleeping bag. I'm really tired, really cold. It's time to get out and on back to civilization. Yeah, boys. <laughs> oh my God. Howdy. How do? Pretty good. Good. How are you doing? <laughs> Doing good. Good to see you, boys. Oh man. That was uh, a little longer than I thought. <laughs> There's looking for a Dagger Mamba 8.6. Come fly into the Bishop River, come hike into the second gorge. You'll find one right here in the middle of the gorge. So if you're looking for one, really what interested, one right there. Does it come with any accessories? Oh yeah, we got two watershed food floats, Z rest, uh, therm rest pad, nice sleeping bag, all sorts of the accessories you would need to do an overnighter like this. And pretty much you can just fly and come get the pack if you want. 